Hey guys, it's Ashley. Today I'm gonna give you a few different ways that you can use those expired planners that are just looking cute, sitting on the shelf. And yes, I know they're there because I have them too. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into this. The first way you can use expired planners is by creating some mock spreads. So let's say there's a spread you're wanting to try, you're not for sure if you're gonna like it or not. Using those expired planners is a great way to practice to see if it's something you're gonna like. Now the next way that you can use expired planners, let's say that you wanna try mild liners. I've done a few spreads before just using mild liners and this is how I practice those spreads to see is this a good layout, is this functional, and to kinda see what I could use. Like let's say you do the boxes at the top, well what are the boxes gonna be for? What are the lines gonna be for? Um, if you create check boxes, what am I gonna, like what's this section gonna be for? You could create a gratitude section down at the bottom using different colors, kind of seeing what works, what doesn't work, and if this spread is actually gonna work for you and be functional for you to plan in. Now here's another thing that I love to do with expired planners, is trying out different materials in my planner. So for example, here I'm using acrylic paint, and I created this fun little pumpkin stencil, and I wanted to see how this is gonna look. Is it gonna bleed through a lot? Are the pages gonna get super wrinkly? And so I love practicing this way. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, you hit the bell notification because I ended up creating this fun little pumpkin spread inside of my planner and I walk you guys through that entire process of how I did it. And I also picked up these paint markers for a spread I wanted to create and before I put it inside of my planner, I tried it first inside of this expired planner and you guys can see the paint coming up to the tip. I love, love that, that's like so satisfying. But I wanted to try it first inside of my planner to see like how much paint comes out at once and is it gonna smear or is it bleed through a lot and just kind of get myself familiar with using it before I permanently put it inside of my planner. Now the next idea is to reuse the monthly dividers. There's so many different ways that you can do this and one way I wanna tell you about really quickly which I didn't do because I don't have any frames but it'd be really cool to take the monthly dividers cut them down to size to fit inside of a frame and then you could hang them up on your wall. It could be fun little decor pieces. It could be decor pieces for your desk. So that's an idea as well. Now here I'm taking a piece of cardstock and I picked this up at Walmart. It was in like a $5 pack of cardstock. I'm gonna size it down to fit this cover and then we're gonna cut it out. Then I punch it and we're gonna take Tombow double-sided double -sided adhesive tape, which is my favorite double-sided tape. But we're gonna take that and we're gonna adhere these two pages together. And then that way we can reuse the back of this monthly divider. And the idea that I had for it, which you'll see here in just a minute because I ended up using uh, photos, but the idea that I had for it was to use it as a way to document like highlights from the month. So let's say uh, some really fun things happen from the month, you wanna kind of memory keep with them, that would be a great way to do it. Here's where I'm using the Tombow double-sided adhesive tape and I didn't realize I was completely out of frame for this one so I do apologize. But my tip for you anytime you're adhering two pages together inside of a happy planner, keep the pages on the discs to do it. It makes it so much easier and typically it comes out pretty straight. And my other tip is to pull the pages towards you. And then whenever you pull the other page around, make sure you account for the roundness of the disc, but pull it around get it lined up in the back and then just kind of pull it towards you like you did with the front one and it all should line up straight. That is so hard to explain in a video. I need to just create a video showing you guys what I mean because I feel like I don't explain it very well. But this is what it looks like. Now, I didn't decorate any of these and try to make them look cute because that's not the point of this video. I can definitely create a video for you guys showing you different ways that you can decorate them and kind of memory keep or anything like that or any ideas that you have for these pages. If you guys let me know what those ideas are, I can try to come up with some ways to decorate them just to give you some more ideas in that area. The whole point of this video was just to give you different ways that you can use the expired planners when it comes to decorating them make it your own, use stickers that you love, and decorate it in a way that you love and that works for you. Here I'm just using some box stickers to show you that you can cover up. Where it says August, you can title this anything you want it to be depending upon what you use the sheet for. And here I'm pulling out some photos that I had on hand just to show you that you can use this as a cute little way to memory keep. 
You can use it for a month, you can use it for whenever you want, it doesn't matter. Now another way, super duper easy way to do this is to take a sheet of happy notes that you already have that's already sized for this, it's already punched. Use the, the Tombow double-sided adhesive tape, adhere those two pages together just like we did before, and then you can use this sheet whether you have lined uh, paper, you have dot grid, you have the blank pages that they have now. Regardless of what sheet you have, this would be a fun way to create a currently page. So different fun little things that are going on for the month. Now I know that every Happy Planner already has a currently page, but sometimes it's nice to just change things up. And this was just an idea that I had that you could practice this if you wanted to or create your own little currently page in a way that works for you. I just keep writing down random things just to kind of show you guys different ways that you can do this. Uh, making a currently page, you can put whatever you want on there. It doesn't have to be the same standard currently pages that we always have. So again, that's just another way that you can do this. Now, another option is to take the monthly pages and we're going to redate those. Now I don't fully redate all of these, but what I like to do to redate a planner is take white out and I just cover up the month, the year, and then for each day, I will cover up the, the, um, day of the month or the day of the week. Sorry. And I, uh, this is the easiest way for me, I think, to do it. But then you take stickers, which I don't do here. Again, that's not the point of this, and I also don't want to waste my number stickers. Sorry, guys. I love you, but I, I'm a sticker hoarder, and there's a good reason for it. But I didn't uh, fully end up redating this. You guys can totally take your stickers, redate this entire monthly spread. You can even cover it up in a way that you won't even see the white out. I know you can see it here, but I promise you, once you get stickers laid down, it's something that you really just don't even notice. As far as using the monthly pages once you redate them, you can use them as just a regular section inside of your planner if you wanted to. And I also love coming up with different ways to use the monthly pages. So here I'm taking a mild liner and I'm going to make little check boxes for each day of the week. And I thought this would be really cool if you wanted to build new habits. So let's say that there's three habits you want to build and you want to track your, track your progress. This would be a cool little habit tracker. So for example, you could have one habit added the first week, add a second habit to it the second week, and then add the third habit the third week, and then the fourth week do all three habits together and kind of build your habits like that. You could always just track one habit. It doesn't have to be three. It could be, I mean, I don't, I don't recommend doing a ton of different habits and trying to build a bunch at once, but just tracking a few habits at once and then that way you're building those, you're getting consistent with them, and then once you complete the habit for the day, you just check it off. Another fun way to use the monthly pages would be to create a little challenge for yourself. And you're going to see here, I'm going to take some mild liners and I'm going to create these tall numbers in the boxes. I love doing this. I think it turns out so cute. But I like to number the boxes. And then what I'm going to do from there is come up with a challenge for the day that coordinates with that number. So for example, for day one, I'm going to write down here in just a second, I'll write down one gallon of water. Day two, I'm going to write down walk two miles. Day three says three things I'm grateful for. Day four is four squats. Day five is send five thank yous. Day six is six push-ups. You get the gist. It's just trying to find something that you can write down for each day that coordinates with that number. I thought that'd be a really fun challenge. Down here, I listed out a few more ways that you can use the monthly pages. So for example, you can have a Psalms a day where you're writing it out. 
you can do a quote of the day for both of these it's great to get like a bible app to have the psalms you could do a an app that sends you a motivational quote every day and so you could write that down every day you can do a bible verse of the day which also is great with an app or with the bible verse that maybe you're reading inside of a bible study you could do a gratitude challenge where you write out maybe three to five things you're grateful for you could write out your workouts here and i wrote out to it's leg day and if you follow me on instagram you're going to know why that's funny and my final idea is to use the weekly pages as a way to practice your handwriting. You can practice your regular handwriting, you can practice calligraphy, you can make block letters. There's so many different ideas. You can try out different pens here. You can see what's bleeding through, what's not, what pen you like to write with. This is just a great way to try things out with wasting more paper because you already have an expired planner, so it'd be great to use that. All right, there you have it. A few different ways to use expired planners. Now there are so many other ways that you guys can use expired planners. Get creative, make them work for you, come up with new ways to use them. You can, like I said, have a memory keeper. You can use the monthly pages. You can practice calligraphy. You can practice using different mediums in here. That's entirely up to you. Or you know what? If you just wanna leave them set on the shelf looking cute, that's totally fine too. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Come hang out with me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video.